Welcome to Dark Sorcery. I'm Alfredo Martinez, and I have with me the one and only Akila Morningstar. How are you doing, Akila? Doing good. How are you? Doing good. And welcome to another episode of Dreamcatchers. And we'll go ahead and just jump right into it. Uh, so we're going to be talking about a number of different uh, different topics today. Um, first one is, how important do you think protection is? Well, um, it depends on what context you mean. So when you say um, protection, are you talking about in rituals or just in general, like when you want to do like protection spell? You know, magically in general, uh, spiritual protection on a person. Yeah, I, I personally like to use like a ring of fire. Um in my in my own rituals um i also like to um you know when i when i feel like stuff is getting kind of cloudy in a sense i like to do um different protection spells like i have i have some stuff hanging on my front door um you know i put salt around the house i also you know will do um like seven day candle protection spells um but honestly for me personally um, I, I kind of feel like there's already a protection around me with my demon guardians. So I don't always, <clears throat> when I do magic, especially with demons, I don't always like to, you know, do a protection in that because I don't really like it. Right. Okay. You? Yeah, I think I think uh, protection is something very important. And I think it's something that a lot of seasoned practitioners tend to overlook. Um, you know, I'll. I'll do different things. I'll carry different stones on me. I'll, you know, light a candle for myself or somebody else. Um, you know, I'll spin around and, and say some spells and incantations and that type of thing. But uh, one thing that I did want to address is the fact that some practitioners have little to no protection on them. Um, sometimes I think that some experienced practitioners will just go a big chunk of their walk without thinking of putting some protection spells on them or doing a cleansing from time to time. And they wonder why they have a string of bad luck or they, there's just a negative aura in their home or they find themselves, you know, getting irritated with people. Easy. Um, yeah, I think, I think they, uh, they get to a spot where they think they're untouchable, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, I don't think it's so much they forget, but sometimes you can get to a point of like I've seen protect practitioners get to a point where they they think they're untouchable, they think they can do anything, and um, that's not always the case. Yeah, I think they uh, I think they they overestimate their own protection. You know, they'll, they'll they'll go ahead and have a great spiritual experience. You know, have read so many books, be in it for years, and then they'll just go about you know, not thinking about protection. But the thing is, is that the way I compare this to is like, remember, remember when you're a kid and you're in the store and, you know, they had, they had those little, uh, little sticky hands that you get out of the machine and, you know, you put them on stuff and then stick stuff would stick to it over time. It wouldn't take long for that to pick up a bunch of dust and dirt and, you know, basically it wouldn't stick to anything anymore. Well, the way I look at it is, if you're a practitioner, if you're an occultist, if you're a witch, you know, whatever you want to call yourself, sorcerer, and you're going about your life and you don't, you know, when you go out in public, you're picking up negative energy from here and there. Your aura does that. Kind of like a sticky hand, you know what I mean? You pick up negativity walking down the street, you're walking through the mall, the supermarket, pumping gas at the gas station, whatever. And then you take that home and it's like it just builds up in your home and there's this mm -hmm. like, aura and people just argue out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. No one to be really internally happy. Mm -hmm. And you're where it's coming from. Well, you may have just dragged in a bunch of stuff from outside that you didn't even realize, especially if you're someone who's very sensitive, you know, who is very good at picking up on people's emotions, thoughts. If you're mm -hmm. I think you you might be able to pick up on that easier. But, uh, you know, do do a cleansing bath from time to time. Do some protection spells. Do some kind of cleansing so that you kind of get a clean slate. And that'll really lift the mood. Yeah, and also saging is really good. But I was just talking to my kid today after I got out of the shower. Like, I just feel so light after a shower. 
like all that energy that I picked up, you know, from interacting with people or going out, it just washes away. That's why you get out of the shower, you feel like a million dollars. So even if, you know, you're, you go out and you pick up on a bunch of negativity, you could, you know, like you said, do a cleansing shower. Yeah, it's good. The, the importance of being clean, um, you know, as a practitioner, um, it's good to, you know, dust your home and, and, uh, you know, I've spoken about this in past videos that I've done about where, you know, you'll get a you'll get a better energetic current running with your spell work if you, you know, if, if things are clean around you, because dust tends to be sort of a, it's, it tends to be sort of a, a shortened circuit, you know, from my experience. Yeah. Um, but I think maybe that's one of the witch's tools is a, a broomstick. It comes mm -hmm. Because we we know the secret behind it. there's different secrets behind that, but that's one of them. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it it is very important to uh, to stay clean, and a lot of negative energy won't linger around if things are just clean around you. you the the aura in the home, the whole vibe will just be more, you know, better, more comfortable. But uh, moving on. Let's talk about the subject of prayer. Is there power in prayer? You know, my viewpoint on prayer is prayer is just another uh, word for incantation. Now, while like someone like a Christian might be praying to, you know, God or Jesus or whatever, and they're asking for something, you know, us, which is in incantations, we command the energy to what we want it to be. Right. Um, but I also I, I also believe in like voodoo and like the book of Psalms, like is like the book of curses. And I've utilized that myself. So I, I really I think it depends on how you use it. But, yeah, I do. I do think there's there is power in it. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I, I definitely think so. And, and uh, I've done some videos about this in the past where I've spoken about this is that I think as long as somebody is, is as long as somebody's focusing on something with a full intent. Um, through rhythmic breathing and chanting, they may or may not have an altered state of consciousness. Um, incantation, you know, I, I think that no matter what faith you follow, what religion you follow, if, you know, those key elements, you have those in place, you can make things happen by praying. I mean, you know, whether you're a Jew, a Muslim, a Christian, you're, you know, if you, you, you know, you're, in Haiti, practicing, you know, the Haitian Mudan or whatever. It's basically, it's, it's the same, it's the same process. And, um, you know, also, you know, putting the hands together, you know, that's also, that also just, that's, there's also power in that. It can create an energy vortex around you. A lot of people um, don't realize that you see this in Christianity, but you also see it in Eastern religions too. You know Buddhism and all that, you know, all these there they do that because there's there's a reason why people do that. Um, but yeah, I do think that there is definitely power in prayer, especially. Uh, I remember, you know, in the Bible it says, "Where two or three are gathered in my name, there I will be." You know, I think it's the same thing with witches. I think where there's two or more that are gathered and concentrating on a certain spell instead of a quote unquote prayer slash, you know, though the outcome will be a lot more powerful. Yeah, I agree. So um, now, um, Akila and I are going to be, we're in the middle of uh, reading a book and we're going to be doing a series on it probably within the next few weeks. So uh, yeah, go ahead and show that book. Yeah, So can you see it? Yeah, Voodoo Visions. And uh, who is it by? What's the author? Um, it is by Sally Ann Glassman. Um, and you can get this book off Amazon. Uh, Alfredo has the Kindle version, and I like to get the hard copy so I can pass my books down to my kids. Um, but this is probably the most um, authentic version of Buddha that I've ever encountered. And that's why I'm really, that's why me and Alfredo are reading it together, because we've come across a lot of different books on Buddha. This one is just different from the rest. Yeah, we're going to be going through it and taking notes, and then we'll just be discussing the points we thought were interesting and, you know, uh, discussing things that probably aren't 
you know, talked about too much in the uh, occult community. But uh, yeah, concerning that book, um, we started reading through it. And uh, how would you say how how the magic of the Vudan is similar to your Native American magic? Yeah, they're actually quite similar. So um, in that uh, they believe that the spirits live in like the trees and the rivers. Native Americans, we also believe that so that you can go out and talk to them. Um, and then also they're just really big into ancestry, which we are. We are also we, you know, uh, pray or talk to our ancestors and utilize them in our magic. So I, I really like it. It's very interesting how similar they are. So I'm not that far into the book. Uh, more to come yeah yeah so just uh be looking out for that we'll we'll be uh speaking on that within the next few weeks um and uh moving on from that let's talk a little bit about magic and sacrifice now the way i see it, that everything you do requires a sacrifice every candle spell you do everything you do um what do you think about that yeah i agree i i you know what I like what I like to utilize is like if I want something big to happen sometimes it can be like a self sacrifice to say like you know I'm not going to eat till every day at 7 p.m. for the next week or something or it can be you know um you know blood offerings or you know you have to give something in order to get especially depending on who you're working with yeah yeah definitely I, I think that uh I think that if you you, you know, it's good to have some kind of sacrifice or state out loud what your sacrifice is going to be when doing the spell. Otherwise, the universe will just take from you. You know, um, I think maybe that's why some people have, um, you know, a death in the family suddenly or, you know, all of a sudden they get in a car accident. They have to pay all this, you know, something happens, they have to pay a lot of money or they right. go through a a heartache of some kind, because depending on the spell that they they're asking for, which yes, the universe can do this, but it's going to require this energy. In fact, it's even you know even biblical where Jesus says, "To whom much is given, much is required." And I think that I think that some uh, some religious traditions uh, there's there there's an origin of truth in that where, like uh, some Catholics will give up something for you know. Ash Wednesday or, you know, some some kind of giving up something because they know, you know, the early the early pioneers of the church, you know, understood these magical principles. And then over time, you know, the spirituality got, you know, was forgotten over time. But yeah. Yeah. Another thing, too, um, I like to try to balance that out, too, with, um, you know, sending positive energy to people, even doing a good deed. Um, sometimes I'll do something for somebody I, I don't necessarily feel like doing, but I'll go above and beyond to do it because I know I'm, I'm handing out that like good energy, so to speak. It's kind of yeah. like, like when I do money spells, a part of the money spell is me giving out money. Um, and so like, I feel like that kind of balances stuff out too. Um, or lighting a candle for somebody's health, like something positive, you know, is a way to kind of balance the energies too. That's good. It does. It does all balance out. I think that when you when you do things for somebody that you know the gods take notice of that they they look at that you know they they might return the favor you know who knows but if you once you once you do it for the sole purpose of just helping people and wanting to help people you, your energy right. feels more balanced and you feel like okay this is this is where I should be yeah you know, greedy or I think, I mean, I think all humans, I mean, I can't say all, but most of us, we, we get a good feeling out of helping somebody, especially because there's been so many people in my life that have helped me in one way or another. And so I, I feel like it's kind of like part of what I need to do to give back, you know, like if somebody needs something, I, if I can do it, I will do it, you know? Yeah. And, and, you know, I, I don't believe there's any, there's no such thing as coincidence. So I think that maybe sometimes we're placed there. For certain people at a certain time for a certain reason. I agree. Synchronicities. And you know, if you are, you'll feel you'll feel this is right. This is where I'm here. I'm here to do this or help so and so. You know. And yeah, feel a lot better about it. Um, well, it looks like uh 
looks like our time is up for today. It's been a, a nice little discussion with you. Um, be sure to check out our, uh, our Voodoo Visions uh, book that we're going to be uh, talking about within the next few weeks. Um, any last words, Akila? No, I would say if you if you want to follow along with us, um, you know, pick the book up, start reading it. We'd like to hear your feedback on it. Yeah, yeah. So we'd be happy to go along with it, go along the book with you and uh, discuss the different points. But uh, for today, uh, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to Dark Sorcery. Everybody have a good day.